Hello everyone. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Today is the 11th class of our improving midway free skills. I'm so thankful from God that we could reach to this 10th class and your messages and comments suggestion is so much encouraging me to continue these classes for you guys. I'm trying to continue our antenatal classes, the subject and what we should to achieve, we have to achieve through this training. We group leader, we have to know what is our aim through this training to adults and where we have to achieve. So we have to be very sure about our training. We have to be sure about our purpose. As you know, most of us, we are trying to give proper information to the couples, to fathers and mothers. And sometimes after the class, when they go home, they will have some other discussion about those topics. It will happen sometimes that they go, uh, after their postnatal, they will get some doubts and questions, and they go to some area in uh, non-trusted references to refresh their learning and their skills. So we should be very helpful. We should be a good instructor for them. One of our role in these antenatal classes is that we have to signposting people and resources. They have to know where they should go if they don't have access to us as a leader or as our anti, their anti, antenatal coach. They have uh, to get a list of signposted and crossword signposting people and resources through us. For example, some of these about health and social care professionals. We should mention to some benefit agencies because as you know, all of the agencies maybe they are not that reliable resources for them. There is some groups with parents uh, and sometimes it's designed with some volunteer parents for special and particular needs. It is very lovely supportive groups that we have to signpost this list of these trustworthy groups to them. I don't know if you have such this group in your, in your place, but you have to search and you have to address them to the proper ones. Sometimes in our antenatal classes, we will find some couples, volunteer couples, that they are looking to uh, make this list and publish to others. So you can have some assist and uh, some um, help to provide the other couples with this material. The other things that we have to signpost for people it's that uh, we have to find some children's center for them. In our list, we have to mention to children's centers. It's very important because whenever the family, they get confused, they don't know in that condition where to go. But when you give all of this information, they won't have any more doubt and they get more relaxed to manage their situation. The other important, important information that you have to consider in your um, signposting list and people is that if you want uh, to um, introduce them some parent and baby groups. We have many parents and baby groups that's uh, happening in some countries. And sometimes in different countries, uh, some groups, they have parents and a baby's group according their nationality, some countries is according their uh, customs and beliefs. So it depends. You have to know what these parents are looking for and what situation they are comfortable and happy with that. Then you will search and you will find the reliable ones, then publish in your uh, list. 
The other important place that you have to consider in your um, uh, signpost uh, list is to consider some uh, internet chat room. There is some internet chat room that uh, most of the couples and most of the new parents go through that and discuss about their daily issue and their new uh, parental experience. It makes them so much confidence and give them good feeling because they will find they are not only the only person have this issue and they will feel very compassion with these people. But all of them are not reliable. You as a leader, you have to identify and find the best one for them. The other important thing that you have to consider in that list for your new, new parents is high quality internet site. Why we say high quality internet site? Because I have many uh, expected parents that they get information, uh, some uh, unfortunately wrong information from others uh, internet site that they are not according evidence base and they are not uh, very um, um, reliable so they get confused and lose their confidence they get uh, disappointed these people they are so fragile and they should go through some resources that give them information according science and uh, very um, um, with medical basics uh, advisor not everywhere it's very important we guide them because they most of them they are not a study medical field and they don't know which side is a proper one for their information the most important thing is you can to provide them some books in their list in the list, you can mention some books that give them all of their needs in, in, in critical time. And there is some researchers that you can mention in your list for them that every time they have some doubt, they want to check about the details and they want to know more about that to go through those researches. Uh, so, as a leader, we have many things to do. We have to know at the end of the every session, are there couples get enough information and are there enough uh, competent about the information we gave them or not? We have to assist them. Because by the end of session, our participants would be able, for example, to describe the importance of relaxation during pregnancy and after. We have some hypnobirth techniques, we have some relaxation, breathing technique, we teach them during pregnancy. And they have to learn and try the house. So after the class, you have to ask them and do it for you in front of you to be sure that they learn and get information in proper way. Or sometimes you can ask them to uh, capture their video in the house when they are practicing this relaxation or breathing techniques and you will check if they are going through proper instruction or no. There is many other way and otherwise you have to be sure at the end of the session they got proper and correct information. And uh, the other important things at the end of the session you have to evaluate your participants is that um, you have to ensure they learned and they could get information about five signs of labor and a start of the labor. At the end of the class, you can make some discussion groups and try uh, to make them engage in these topics. You can ask them to write it in the notes or to in their um, birth plan to mention what they want to do and they visualize what will happen and how they should manage it. Because it's one of the important role for us that we have to teach them 
and they know already just we have to train them to make their mind completely visualized and try to work in their mental um, vision to find the same situation before it happened so they won't have that much fear and anxiety when they face with the real situation the other thing that we have to be sure at the end of the class we reach to that aim is that demonstrate three position that must make contraction easier to manage. They have to do this position in the class. You have to see and correct them. After that, you ask them to do the same in the house, capture the video, send to you. And most of the position that they can practice with their husband because the husband will try to um, remind the mother how to correct and recorrect your position. I will let you know in our next session which position, which sign, and how we have to describe them. And the other things that is very important in evaluation of our classes is that to know um, if they, get, they got our information about, suggest, too uh, easy, such as too easy to make, inexpensive and nutrition meals for the first month after the baby is born. It depends to their cultural uh, issue. Some cultural, they have some special food that is very nutrition and very helpful according to that um, uh, location that they are living. So it's very good that they can practice and know how to make it easy, how to prepare that, that don't be confused at the time of need. You can make a party and ask them everybody, bring some special their traditional food that most of their uh, families and their customs advise and bring, distribute it and share together as a potluck party. And many, many, many activities you can uh, plan according to what they like and make them more close and friendly to each other. In the meantime, they can do some practicing. And the other things, uh, the important things that people should know, thank you for your wave. I'm trying to look at your comments and your wave as well. The most important thing that at the end of the class is very uh, needed and very essential is that agree with their parents. They should learn agree with their parents how to divide household course, growth, sorry, household course and uh, baby care between them. Some of them living with their um, parents, some of them are in some special place that they have to get care from others person. And sometimes they have some other issue that they have to manage together. So it's very important to know how to make this household course to be shared between them. They should start some negotiation or maybe they can make a scenario to participate with their friends and family to find some new way to uh, come through that. Actually, we don't want any couples cross their cultures because cultures is very respected for us, cultures, beliefs. Just we will ask them to negotiate and amend a new uh, way to make it more facilitated and keep it in the proper mental uh, support for the mothers and fathers. The other important thing that is very uh, necessary to know at, at the end of the class and assess the couple is that give them list of internet sites where they can find more information about healthy eating and list session that provide more opportunities to uh, practice self-help skills for labor and for breastfeeding. Some easy material like a movie like some uh, easy access internet sites and very scientific based not every internet site thank you for all of your wave thank you for your nazenda for your beautiful flower and thank you 
Uh, I'm trying to talk um, in five to ten minutes at the end of the session in Farsi for some of our Persian language talking midwife. I hope uh, you will get some uh, necessary point through our class. Please uh, don't forget to follow us through our uh, YouTube channel, Lily Mom Center, LMC. And please press the bell and subscribe us. If you like our everyday session, please uh, recommend us to your friends and share with others. I'm trying to, to share some of my experience of 20 years work and manage midwifery care units or hospitals project and midwifery practice and training with you. And I hope you can share it with others. As we know, we can learn whatever. It is God bless for us. We will learning some things and we have a duty to spread and publish our knowledge to others. It is very um, uh, great by God if we can do this duty that God give us. A small knowledge is a God, a God bless for all of us. Uh, if you let me, I speak a small sentence with our, uh, I see I have, I think, three minutes time. So just for these three minutes, I can talk some small Farsi notes to our the Afghan midwife that they requested to have some small information at the end of the every session. سلام دوستان عزیزم بحثی که امشب داشتیم در رابطه با benefiting learning outcomes هست یعنی ما باید ببینیم نتایج آموزشیمون چه مزایایی و چه اهدافی رو دنبال کرد در تو با کلاس های دوران بارداری صحبت کردیم که یک ماما و یا یک دولا و یا یک child bed educator باید یک سری اهدافی رو در نظر گرفته باشه که در انتهای هر کلاس به اون هدف ها برسه شما بعد اهدافی که از آموزشتون دارین رو نوعی آموزش بدین که در انتهای هر کلاس بتونین این دوستان رو این زوجهای جوان رو بتونین چک کنین ببینین آیا به درستی دریافت کردن یا خیر یکی از مهمترین مسائلی که هست در کلاس های بارداری باید مد نظر داشته باشه این هست که یک ساین پستی رو یه لیستی از ساین پست ها رو برای این زوج های نازنین داشته باشه این لیست ساین پست ها منظور چی هست داشت یعنی یک لیستی هست مایحتاجشون رو که میخوان پیدا کنن یک لیست معتبر از مراکز از حالا یک متخصصین بهداشت و مراقبت های اجتماعی یک لیست از آژانس هایی که بنفیت ایجنسی کایسه داشون میکنن یا گروهی که مادرها و بعضی از پدرها به صورت گروه های واتسفی تشکیل دادن مراکز های کودکان بیمارستان های کودکان رو در اختیارشون قرار بدیم یا مطب های کودکان رو تو لیستمون ما باید حتما در رابطه با گروه های پد... والدین و کودک هم اشاره ای بکنیم گروه هایی که با هم تشکیل میدن و همچنین میتونیم به موارد مهم دیگه که اشاره کنیم تو لیستمون با من یک لیست اطلاعاتی که بعد در کلاس ها بدیم به والدین این هستش که باید اون اینترنت چت روم ها رو درش من... اینترنت چت روم های خیلی معتبر رو هم باید درش بگا... حتما ذکر بکنیم مورد دیگه ای که هستش اون های اینترنت سایت های خ... های کوالیتی اینترنت سایت ها سایت های اینترنتی که کیفیت بالایی دارن که بدونن هر وقت دوچار مشکل شدن برن به اونجا ارجاع پیدا کنن اما همه ما اینتر سایت های اینترنتی رو ما معتبر نمیدونیم حتما باید های کوالیتی باشن کتاب های خیلی مهم و مرجع علمی دو مرجع علمی رو برشون ذکر میکنیم و همچنین یه سری ریسرش ها و تحقیقات رو مورد دیگه که بعد حتما در نظر بگیرین این هستش که در انتهای کلاس بعد مطمئن بشین که به اون اهداف آموزششون با آموزشتون رسیدین. باید بتونن اون زوج ها اون زوج هایی که شرکت کردن از اهمیت ریلکسیشن و تکنیک های آرامسازی در دوران بارداری و بعد از زایمان حتما بتونن بگن و چند تکنیکش رو براتون بگن. دومی که علائم اولیه لیبر رو بتونن توضیح بدن حتی اول پنج تا علامت لیبر رو 
و به شما بگن که از چند تا از پوزیشن هایی که در هنگام کانترکشن ها میتونه مادر رو آرام بکنه ریلکس بکنه رو اونها رو هم میتونن برای شما بتونن بیان بکنن و همچنین میتونیم میتونیم روش هایی که بتونن تغذیه های خوب و غیر گران قیمت رو بتونن بعد خودشون ایجاد کنن و اینکه چجوری بتونن وظایف پدر مادری رو برای برای هم تقسیم بکنن و بدون چالش باشه و این سایت های اینترنتی معتبر رو بتونن برای شما مثال بزنن اینا چیزهای مهمی هستش که حالا ان شاءالله در جلسات بعدی من براتون توضیحات بیشتر رو داده باشم خواهم داد ان شاءالله برای چهارم می ساعت 10 صبح سمت به ساعت انگلستان در وبینار رایگان نیلیمان در خدمتون هستیم و با پروفشن های دنیا در ارتباط خواهید بود امیدوارم که این برنامه ما رو به دوستاتون معرفی کنید اگر دوست داشتید اگر براتون مفید بود حتما اون زنگوله رو فشار بدین و دکمه سابسکرایب رو هم در لیل سایت یوتیوبمون حتما بزنید در کانال یوتیوب ما رو دنبال کنید به نام لیلی مام سنتر ال ام سی Thank you everybody to jo- for joining me. I love you so much and I hope you learn some things. I, I know you know many things, just I'm sharing some experience. I hope you accept my uh, English is not that much fluent, but I'm trying just to share some of my knowledge. I hope I can do it. I'm not sure, but I love to hear from you. Please don't hesitate to share your comments. I hope to see you in 4th May. Join us in our webinar and according uh, UK time 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. Hope to see you. Thank you. Keep in touch.